Hello, I'm your host, Kevin Kraft. Welcome to the WordPress Advisor's e-commerce training program. This is lesson one, installing and configuring WordPress. By the end of this lesson, you'll have a working WordPress blog. More specifically, we'll cover the following topics. Introduction to WordPress, hosting and domain names, installation of WordPress, and configuration of WordPress. WordPress is a type of software platform called a Content Management System, or CMS, which essentially means that it's a website in a box. It enables people with limited technical abilities to create a basic website or blog with ease, while allowing for a relatively high level of customization. WordPress is one of the most popular and reliable content management systems ever created. It's even used by many established businesses such as Ben & Jerry's, CNN, and eBay. Like any software platform, WordPress has its strengths and weaknesses. Here are some examples of what WordPress excels at. Blogging and original content, business card websites and personal portfolios, e-commerce stores, and squeeze pages. Unfortunately, WordPress is not so great at highly customized applications such as large corporate websites, social networking websites, and games. Next, let's talk about hosting and domain names. A hosting provider allows your website to be viewable on the internet. Hosting providers have large collections of servers that are constantly accessed by internet users such as yourself. Every time you view a web page, your computer requests the web page from a hosting provider who then sends the information back to your computer where it's displayed by your web browser. There are two basic types of hosting. There's shared hosting and dedicated hosting. Shared hosting providers serve many websites from the same server, sometimes up to hundreds or even thousands. For most website owners, this is not a problem, and it's well worth the trade-off in cost and ease of use. Shared hosting providers are much cheaper than dedicated hosting providers, usually around $10 per month, and most shared hosts offer easy or one-click WordPress installation that can be completed within a few minutes. Despite these advantages, shared hosts do have some problems. They're generally less reliable, less customizable, less secure, and have higher load times than dedicated hosts. Shared hosting is the most common type of hosting and is generally a good choice when starting out. Here are some shared hosts that are recommended by the WordPress advisors. DreamHost and Bluehost. We will be using DreamHost in our examples for the remainder of this lesson due to its ease of use and flexibility. If you would like to follow along directly with the installation of WordPress, then we recommend that you sign up with DreamHost using the resource link provided. However, you will likely find that the easy WordPress install on Bluehost is similar. Dedicated hosting providers give you your own server to use as you wish. No one else will use the server, and you can host as many or as few websites on it as needed. One of the more recent developments of dedicated hosting is virtual private servers, or VPSs. A virtual private server is a mix between shared and dedicated hosting that provides most of the benefits of dedicated hosting for a fraction of the cost. Modern virtual private servers are practically indistinguishable from dedicated hosts and are commonly used on even the largest commercial websites. Dedicated and VPS hosting are more expensive and require more technical knowledge than shared hosting, but they also are more reliable, more customizable, more secure, and usually have faster load times. Some dedicated hosting providers, such as Media Temple, offer a one-click or easy WordPress installation. In other cases, a manual installation of PHP, Apache, and MySQL may be needed. This requires a high level of technical expertise, which this training program will not cover. Here are some dedicated hosting providers that are recommended by the WordPress advisors. DreamHost, Media Temple, Crystal Tech, Rackspace, and SoftLayer.